Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Mega Bloks World of Warcraft Series 1 Blind Bags. There are eight to collect. It says most sets contain one figure, one weapon, two blocks, and collector sheet inside. Spot only actually picked up one one blind bag. This, by the way, is nine is set nine one one zero zero series one blind bags. Spot actually picked this up from Walmart as well. Now, leveling with you as Spot tries to do in these videos. I have not played World of Warcraft at all. I think I played. 10 minutes because my friend tried to talk me into playing it and getting into it, and I just never could. Uh, the characters, though, are certainly very interesting, to say the least. Um, I kind of like this knight guy in the middle there. But there are eight to collect. On the back of the package, this is licensed Blizzard product. Warning, of course, choking hazards, small parts not recommended for ages 0 to 3, and uh, as, it, as it also usually goes. This comes with from Mega Brands. And also, uh, Spawn only got one bag, just, just so you know, one bag. Not three bags, as normally it goes, but one bag. Let's get this open up, find out which one we got inside. I got myself red here, old red, good old red. Let's cut open the bag. And pulling out the pamphlet. Let's find out all the characters in here. Now, they don't have names. No names, unfortunately, but there's that night guy. Some are common, some are epic, some are legendary. I guess that means the how rare they are. Oh, that second one's kind of neat too. I like that one. Uh, third and fourth, as I'm going to just refer to them as, somewhat interesting. Bottom, not really interesting. This guy's kind of cool. I like this guy, and this guy is, is not bad. What's on the back spot? Shows you how to build it. I have to commend uh, Mega Bloks. One thing I really like about their product when they have their minifigures, is that they're they're ball jointed, so you can move them and pose them in different ways. The other Lego, the oh, there, I just gave it away. Ah, oh, just gave it away. I was gonna say the other building set figures don't have that. They're just very, you know, they just swivel. All right, so we got ourselves some debris. Let's put that down right there. I think of the debris, it's one of the characters I really wanted, at least. So we got ourselves a block. This is China. I don't think that's its name. No, it's not its name. Come on. And we got ourselves some pieces. Now, let's see if we can... I'm going to assume that I can do this without the use of instructions. Take that leg, peg it into place. Take the other leg, peg it into place. It kind of looks like it's a minotaur. Spot, it's not that! It's it's called this! I Okay, it's not a minotaur. Um... Okay, what do we got here? Shoulder pad? Let's put his arms in. Maybe, you know what? I didn't think I needed it. I really didn't think I needed it. Alright. That pegs into place like so. There, that now he has shoulder pads. That makes sense. Spot was going to put it on this way and that just wouldn't have worked. Peg that in. Take the other shoulder pad, like so. These are rubbery, by the way, which I like. They're not hard plastic. And did I put the... Ugh, I put the arms on the wrong way. Spot needs a nap. I think I need a... No, actually, I don't. Ha <laughs> ha! Spot doesn't need a nap. Nah. I was going to say, because the socket is only the one way. The hands, I think, are... They look like they're sculpted the wrong way. We'll discuss it in a second. Don't worry. We'll discuss it in a second, as they say, Francais. Put the head in. So, done. Done. We've also got this piece, which I guess sits on top of the... Does it go like that? I know I'm going to be regretting this. Perhaps... Why is that like that? I don't know. Maybe it goes like that, and maybe this goes on top. 
I don't know, I'm just going to leave those aside. The last thing I'd want to do is put it on the wrong way and then somebody's going to tell me down below. I appreciate it. I always appreciate it. Now, as I was mentioning, the hands look like they're on the wrong way. Look at the thumb. Look how the thumb is further back. It almost makes sense that the thumb should be sticking further out, but then the socket is on the wrong way. Unless this rotates. No, it doesn't. It doesn't rotate, so maybe the hands are on the wrong way. Oh, well. It's a neat little guy. He's kind of, uh, again, like some sort of minotaur. He's got some hair going along the back there. A little small head. He's got a very, very tiny, tiny head. There is his head right there. Well, come on, camera. You can do it. There's his head right there. Some of these shoulder pads going on. He's got big old bold feet going on there, and he's got, of course, his tail on the back. Um, oh, wait a minute. I wonder if this pegs into the back here. Ah, look at that. Success. Muy bueno. That goes like that. That, that. Then he can hold his weapon when he's not holding his weapon. So I guess that just pegs onto the top. Like so. And then his feet can peg into place if you'd like. Although not very long, so he's kind of having to do the pee-pee dance to squeeze himself onto that block. But the way of his articulation, let's have a look at that. His head rotates left and right. Not up and down. Well, I guess some, somewhat up and down. But you got to be careful that his head just doesn't pop off, because it will happen. His shoulders go out. He has a bend in the elbow. Rotation in the hand. Rotation in the waist. Legs go forward, out. Bend at the knee. And nothing in the foot. Also, nothing really in the tail. It's just a, looks like it's just a rubbery piece. But a really good, good figure. I mean, it, for, again, its size, I mean, it's small. It is a, I mean, there's my thumb. Not that that's much of a scale comparison. But by compared to my thumb, it is a small figure. Very articulated, which I, I think Mega Bloks does a great job with. Let's get his weapon in his hand. Some sort of bashing mace that he's, he's got going on there as well. I like him quite a bit. Almost enough to make me want to pick up more of these. And I can have just a little army of these minotaurs. Yeah, very happy indeed. Very happy indeed. You can pick these up in most places that sell blind bags against Bot just having to pick it up from Walmart. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at a very impressive line of Mega Bloks blind bags of World of Warcraft Series 1. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's got more collectible spots heading your way. See you next time.